hey guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to talk about the bevel tool in maya and for that uh, let's take a cube for example and i'm going to show you how to apply bevel over these objects so bevel works great with the object that has some corners so a cube is a perfect example so what you can do is you can either go to edit mesh and uh, click on this bevel or or you can press ctrl b so what it does that it bevels all the edges in this object but if i want to add bevel to only one or uh, some selected edges what you can do is you can go to edge mode and you can select the edge you want to bevel so for example if i want to bevel only these two edges so i can select these two and now i can go to edit mesh and bevel so it's now it's going to bevel only these two or you can use the hotkey which is Control b or what you can do is you can press shift right click and it will also show you this bevel edge so this marking menu only appears when you are in the component mode so let's go to object mode and let's select our object and press Control b to bevel so if you increase or decrease the fraction it's going to increase the level of this bevel like this and you can add segments between these two edges to make these corners a little bit smoother so you can add as many segments as you want so now these corners are rounded if you go to this depth and uh, you decrease it and uh, reach to minus one these corners are going to be inward and you'll get a shape like this now we have this chamfer so if you turn this off now it will only add the edges but it won't change any geometry so you can decrease or increase the number of segments and you won't see any changes like this so let's take a new cube and when you subdivide it so if you press 3 to see it in smooth preview it turns something like this but if you add some subdivisions like this So with the help of supporting edges if you press 3 now the square turns like this so you can manually add these subdivisions or what you can do is you can again press ctrl b and bevel but this time let's turn off the chamfer and decrease the fraction so this thing is going to add supporting edges to all the edges available in this primitive and now if you press 3 then you can see the difference so bevel is pretty useful tool for our modeling workflow and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching